In this video, I'm going over improving wine performance in games. So the other night I was streaming on Twitch and this happened. Oh, oh, are we getting a bug? Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, holy frame drops. <laughs> So what causes things like that? I'm actually going to go over how to actually improve frame rates and kind of distill a lot of these things because I've since smoothed it out and even at the end of my stream I did get it working pretty stable but I've gone through and done even more than that since then. So the very first thing is disable overlays. If you're running Steam through Wine, definitely disable the Steam overlay. If you're running Origin through Wine, disable that overlay. Overlays just kill performance. The second thing, and I actually did this during the stream, was moving the entire wine bottle to a solid state drive from a traditional hard drive. I had it on a traditional 5400 RPM hard drive and was seeing a lot of stuttering and stopping and just overall real laggish behavior where the actual fluidity of a lot of the videos was fine, but then it would just go to load a new scene and just it would really have a hard time. So what I did is I moved it from that old hard drive to the solid state and saw a drastic increase in performance. And the third thing, if you're doing any kind of streaming like I was in this snip, I actually went in and changed it from a screen capture to a game capture. And here is the real time of that doing a short 20 second clip of it happening during the stream of when I actually made this change. You can see the FPS change from 60 to 80. So a pretty substantial difference. And disable viewing of main. Oh yeah, see, check it out. So look at my FPS now, it jumped up about 10 to 20, just from going from full uh, window capture or screen capture over to just solely game capture. So that, that gave us a good bump. So it might've been OBS causing a lot of issues too. So the fourth thing is disabling V-Sync and actually disabling a lot of options, especially advanced lighting options such as God rays and real new technology that's come out. This can be extremely taxing on the system when you have all that enabled. So disable God rays, disable this advanced, especially newer technologies that just get introduced into games. It seems wine has a lot more trouble with uh, these types of features. And the last thing here is try different wine versions. And I don't mean just try the newest version because newer isn't always better. I try a whole variety of different ones and I look to see what performs the best. I'm gonna go ahead and go through my games right now and show you all the different wine versions that I have for my wine-based games. But please note, use caution when doing this. Back up that wine bottle. If it's something that's very precious to you, know that when you're changing versions, things can get messed up. You might mess up your bottle. You might have to delete the entire game and re-download it. And this can be a big headache. So definitely back up before doing this step. So to explain wine versions, you have to go to winehq-news and kind of expand to see all the different wine versions. I kind of check this out each time just because I know certain games ask for certain dependencies. You, you install these through wine tricks and you kind of see them here. So I wanted to kind of show you one thing that kind of stands out in a wine release and I know it would be good for a game. So that's why I try it out. So in wine 4.5, I can see still more media foundation APIs implemented. Now, when you came into Resident Evil and Devil May Cry 5, they are very heavily dependent on the media foundation APIs. And I noticed substantial increases when going to 4.4 and even 4.5. Now, I haven't actually tried it on 4.5, but it would be a good thing to do once I get that installed and going to push it to this version just because of all those improvements that were done to the Media Foundation APIs, it'll make the game run smoother, everything will just work better, and a lot of times it actually makes it to where you don't even need those dependencies and wine tricks anymore and you're not doing a hacky solution or constantly changing the wine bottle where this is just a little bit easier because everything's kind of baked into this new release. However, with that said, not all releases are created equal. A lot of times, 
older versions are better for older games. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Lutris here so you can kind of see what's going on. So on Lutris, let's go ahead and kind of show some of these wine games that I have different versions for. So Anthem, I was actually running this last night on Twitch and I wanna go ahead and pull up my wine config. It was kind of laggy a little bit. It was not, it's a very new game, but it was not running what it should run at with my specific hardware. However, in running options on that live stream, I was running 3.21. I have since upgraded and found this version and done some tweaks to it to where I'm able to choose this specific version for Anthem to get it running a lot better. I'm seeing about a 10 to 30 FPS increase across the board. So pretty substantial increase in Anthem uh, using this. Right now, I haven't submitted anything to the Lutris team just because I wanted to test this for several weeks and make sure everything is perfect. So with my success on Anthem, I went ahead and tried Dead Space through Origin and I noticed using the same options from up here, down here, I was able to get it working as well. Albeit uh, the, the actual Origin launcher, since it doesn't use DXVK, it's a really old DX9 game, it is still a little bit buggy on the Origin launcher. It gives me some artifacts and some weirdness. However, I'm noticing in the news, they're really starting on 4.6 to put Vulcan on the back end, and then 4.7, um, I saw DirectX 9 really starting to come into play with this. So I'm really curious to see on the newer versions of Wine, I can't wait to try those out on older games just because uh, Vulcan coming into DX9 is going to be a game changer. So let's go to another one, Diablo 3. This one, I went ahead and pushed it up. It's the pr Protonified one, not the F Protonified F-Audio like I have on Anthem and also on the Dead Space. This one works really well. Uh, it runs at pretty much native performance. I have seen no differences between it and my PC version when I'm on Windows. Next up is Final Fantasy XI. This is an older game, so it actually has an older version of Wine. I'm using Wine 4.0, which is actually my system default right now. And then we got League of Legends. Again, I, I actually streamed this uh, last night as well on my Twitch, and everyone kind of got to see its native performance. Again, just a fantastic. It's using 4.6. There were some upgrades that it utilized, but it is fantastic as far as its performance. Again, native performance, I'm seeing identical playthroughs between it and the Windows side. Uh, no difference on League of Legends. They've done a great job with helping this out on 4.6. So uh, definitely install League. It used to have some problems probably a couple months ago before 4.6. It was uh, not nearly as polished as it is right now. And then to round out this, I have Star Wars The Old Republic. Now this uses an older launcher, 3.6 staging um, on this just because it uses its own different launcher and this has been proven to work pretty well. Also, it does not use DXVK, it's using DirectX 9, but it does have extremely good performance regardless of that. And I can play this again at near native performance, but I just wanna kinda of show these different options to see the different wine versions so people understand that not every game sits on the same wine version and not every game being on the newest wine version is necessarily good. Some games work better on older versions, some work better on the newer ones. Again, you can kind of get a feel for that with the patch notes, but uh, I'll, I'll leave that to you to test. So those are all the things you can do to increase wine performance. Was there something I missed? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.